Well, a combination of factors led to this disaster, from the weather to the geology of the cliffs. NIPE's Andrea Borba continues our team coverage with that part of the story. It's no secret that the soil and sand here along this portion of the California coastline is very soft. With storm after storm pounding the coast this winter, coastal erosion has moved from theoretical to a reality. Today's massive landslide on Fort Funston has a cause that is easily traceable for Dr. Roland Bergman, a landslide expert at Cal. When we have these big rainstorms, they saturate the ground and that weakens uh, the soils and rocks. And clearly what happened today was directly in response to this rainfall. Pacifica is also notorious for cliff erosion. It sits near where the San Andreas Fault runs back into the Pacific Ocean. Fort Funston is very close to the epicenter of the great 1906 earthquake, and their geological connection can be traced to the rocks. All up, up and down the coast from Pacifica to Daly City is made up of the Masset Foundation. The cliffs are made of this young rock and that's very susceptible to failure and landsliding. So this is a known problem. The signs warning of unstable cliffs dot Fort Funston and regulars are well aware of the impermanent nature of the stunning coastline. This is the sand and today is one configuration, tomorrow will be another one. Dr. Berkman says limiting access to the beach while the cliff sides stabilize would be wise. These failures, they don't happen that often, but they do happen on a regular basis. So given that we just had this really awful event, it would make sense to me personally to keep that area off limits for a while and certainly not let people walk up to the cliffside. On the night beat at Fort Funston, I'm Andrea Borba. As we mentioned before tonight, the uh, victim remains missing and we will continue to monitor this developing story.